Wow, the only way I can go forward. And it's peaceful music, right? That's how we know. That's how we know it's chill. If this were simply an automated trap, Saren would have triggered it. What do you think this is? Don't get your hopes up. The only thing we can depend on right now. This is why I really like them, right? Like, she's sort of like the young, hopeful, like, pragmatic, but like an idealist. And like, Rex is also sort of an idealist, but like a very grumpy, like, been around the block several times. Like, not an idealist, I guess. But, um, they just balance each other out. Like, his wisdom and her, like, you know, fire, essentially. You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently, perhaps there is still hope. Wait a minute. How come I can understand you? Why aren't you speaking the Prothean language? I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Soon, nowhere. Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, Chief Overseer of the Ilos Research Facility. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us, and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay. One that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. How come nobody ever noticed the Citadel was an inactive mass relay? The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. That is why they created a species of seemingly benign organic caretakers. The Keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. Reliance on the Keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Not until the relay is activated. And the Reapers invade. I mean, it's a good idea till someone gets too curious and figures it out, right? And you would think after, like, the millions of years of cycles that somebody would have done that. But maybe the Creepers, or not the Creep, uh, the Keepers <laughs> killed them. How did the Reapers survive out in dark space? We have only theories. The researchers here came to believe the Reapers enter prolonged states of inactivity to conserve energy. This allows them to survive the thousands and thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. But in this state, they are vulnerable. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel Relay is activated. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack! That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel, and through it, the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, System by system, they methodically wiped us out. Some of you must have managed to survive. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. 
Information is power, and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them cruel, to the machines. Right? Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. Like, you know, it's why people fear, like, refugees sometimes. It's like, like oh, maybe they have, like, secretly agents that want to, like, you know, do you harm. And it's like, for the most part, the majority of them don't. And, like, how cruel and terrible would it be to deny people access to, like, health and safety, like, with, uh, on the off chance that somebody in there, or even the probable chance that one person in there is, like, a traitor, you know? Like, is that worth it? Like, I don't, I don't actually know, you know? Like, seeing people crying and begging for help and knowing that probably one of them in there is a traitor, do you leave all of them out there? Like, I don't know. It's a terrible thing to have to, like, make a decision on. I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers are alien, unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top-secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small-scale version of a mass relay, one that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. The conduit's not a weapon. It's a back door onto the Citadel. Um, am I gonna bring this, uh, character through to Mass Effect 2? Yes, I am. And I'm gonna romance Thane, and I'm so excited. <laughs> And I'm gonna beat people up with my vanguard abilities. It's gonna be great. We blow up the citadel. So simple, so elegant. It's true. How did you manage to stay hidden? All official records of our project were destroyed in the initial attack on the citadel. While the Prothean Empire came crashing down, Ilos was spared. We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. How did you survive? I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Little. Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down and you killed them? You were programmed to protect them, not kill them. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential mm -hmm. staff about this contingency. 
I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any We can berate remains. him, but, or it, but it's true. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. I mean, it's like, it sounds brutal, and it is brutal, but like, truly, like, the support staff isn't going to be the one coming up with the solution to the problem, you know? Like, they are, their lives are valuable, like, it, like, it's the same as the scientists, but their skills are not necessarily. So it was a hard decision to make. Ty is such a soft heart, I know. She's such a good, she's such a good woman, <laughs> you know? Like, she's so kind. And like so like I don't know, like fiery, you know? Like she tries to keep her values no matter what. Aren't they under the influence of the Reapers? The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren must have some plan to undo everything you did. The one you call Saren will use the conduit to bypass the Citadel's defenses. Once inside, he will transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay and the cycle of extinction will begin again. Is there my eyes? Can stop them? There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit. Follow Saren. He will lead you Through to your conduit. destination. It's like, yeah, that's where the Citadel is. I assume the Citadel master controls on the Citadel itself. You're not being, you're not helping. I mean, he is. <laughs> what happened to the survivors from the conduit project? They used the conduit to gain access to the Citadel. But the conduit is only a prototype. The portal only links in one direction. So they were trapped on the station. I do not know what became of them then. It is unlikely they found any food or water on the station. I fear they suffered a slow, grim death. I only know they succeeded in their mission to seal the relay. Your presence here proves their sacrifice was not in vain. If the Reapers are trapped in dark space, Aha, how did Sovereign loophole. get here? It is logical to assume the Reapers would leave one of their own behind after each extinction a sentinel to pave the way for their inevitable return. Like those in dark space, Sovereign probably spent most of the last 50,000 years in a state of hibernation. Periodically, it would wake to analyze the situation. Keeping its existence hidden, it would evaluate the state of galactic civilization. And when the time was right, it would signal the Citadel and usher in the next Reaper invasion. But this time, the signal failed. The Keepers did not respond. Sovereign's allies were trapped in the void. Alone, it was forced to try and discover what had gone wrong. Sovereign's the largest ship in the galaxy. Why all this secret? Why not just attack the Citadel? Sovereign is not invincible. Revealing its true nature would have united the forces of every organic species against it. Even a Reaper couldn't survive such odds. But the Reapers are patient. They will not rush into the unknown. Sovereign could have been planning this for centuries, moving deliberately, gathering allies. Slowly, it has assembled the pieces of the puzzle, working through agents to keep itself hidden. Saren is the most visible pawn of the Reapers, but I oh, doubt no. he was the first. Now Sovereign has grown bold. Whether from confidence or desperation, I cannot say. 
but it is determined to reopen the portal to dark space. What about the beacon on Eden Prime? And the one on Vermeer? What were they for? At our apex, the beacons spanned the breadth of our empire. We used them as a single galaxy-wide network to transmit data and communications rapidly from world to world. Virtually all the beacons were destroyed during the invasion, but once the Reapers were gone, the survivors here on Ilos decided to risk sending out a message. We knew it was unlikely there were other survivors, but if there were, we wanted them to know about Ilos. We wanted to give them hope, so a message was sent across the network. You could have exposed yourself to the Reapers. In truth, we didn't expect any of the beacons would still function, but we had to try. If there were survivors, we had to reach them. The message was meant for our own people. It was coded so only organic beings could interpret it. We still didn't understand the power of Reaper indoctrination. We never realized it could lead an agent of the machines, like Saren, to this world. But it has also led you here. So perhaps we did not fail I mean, Ilos was all. pretty isolated, but still, they had to realize that, like, their own people were being indoctrinated, you know? Because it, it even mentions that, um, that people, you know, that the Protheans, the people were getting, um, indoctrinated. But maybe this was all stuff they figured out afterwards, like, Piece, like bits and pieces right and if a species just accidentally invented portal tech for FTO instead of regular FTO then that would have been hilarious but that's the thing right is the reapers have been doing this a long time and they know how to like manipulate events so that like you can discover like this pre-made stuff you know and it just then you start evolving down like a particular track like they want you to so, when the Reapers created the Citadel, they created the Keepers as well? A more likely scenario is that the Keepers were one of the early harvested civilizations. The Perhaps second. The very probably first. the second. Perhaps they responded well to indoctrination, or the Reapers simply bred them to be obedient. In any case, they were left behind to operate and maintain the Citadel. But the Keepers are no longer directly controlled by Sovereign or its ilk. They evolved so that they only respond to the signals emitted by the Citadel itself. When the Protheans altered the Citadel's signals, they broke Sovereign's hold over the Keepers. Now, they are completely harmless. Sovereign must have realized organic races were difficult to control. A likely hypothesis. The Keepers evolved in an unanticipated direction. Non-organic servants like the Geth would be more predictable. Oh my gosh, a cake is a lie joke in 2021? I feel like I've gone back in time. <laughs> Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file let's and go. let's go. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. We gotta go. Run, run, run. Except, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through. So, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through the final fight. Like, the final, the, the run up to the final fight. It's tragic. For all the great <sighs> achievements, the Protheans lost everything. No, like, worse than your people. Even their last plan failed. Keep it moving. I've got no intention of anything. The Quarians are still alive and thriving. Protheans are dead. Like, she's like, they lost everything, like my people. I'm like, no, you guys lost your home planet, which had a lot on it. Like, a lot of, like, the culture, you know, landscapes, the people, a lot of Quarians died. They have a very, they have, they have like, a 17 million population, which is pretty small, honestly, the size of, like, some cities, you know, like, some human cities, so there's not very many. But no, <laughs> you still have like a culture and a people and oh no, oh, oh no, Ilos is dangerous for driving. There, the conduit, it's incredible. We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay and these Geth aren't going to make it easy on us. We just, we just go, just go. 
Ain't no thing. They already beat us. <laughs> Snap. Look at this. Oh, it's so cool looking. The Turian, the Asari, they're all trying to mobilize. Dodging bullets. We're dodging grenades. We're not going that fast. Hang on. Make sure we're gonna get the no, just don't send me flying in circles. I feel like I should have a speed boost. I don't have one. This is not a space-worthy vehicle. This is like a lower atmosphere planetary vehicle. It's not designed to be like, you know, air, like sea. It's not designed to be sealed against like the vacuum. It's, it's, it's not designed for that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh geez. And I crunched him. Oh my gosh, I cut that one in half, I think. Oh my gosh. Usually you don't get to see them all crunched. I think that's the upper upper body. Oh my gosh. Yeah, usually the geth don't 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 be crunched. Oh no. Oh no. I don't think I have Okay, good. I have I have at least uh, eight health health packs. It's got pizzazz. Look at this place. This is even with my less than stellar, not 1080p screen, that whole thing was like really intense to see. Like it still looks really crazy. Oh my goodness. 